what's up everybody it's nathan daniels uh, i'm here just showing you a little bit about the phantom the Roland phantom g6 um, i'm gonna show you what it does uh, the best features about it uh, this thing is great it's awesome and uh, i'm going to show you a little bit about what tools i use and what sounds i use uh, to make uh, everyone sound great or whoever i'm playing with gigs uh, studio work this is the tool man this is the studio right here okay everything is built in this thing is great. Uh, for time purposes, I'm gonna edit this video, all right, to just cut some things and show you in bits and pieces, all right? Talk to you soon. All right, everyone, under the studio feature, uh, this has a little studio, pretty much a built-in studio. It has the different tracks that you can use over here, and you can just put the sounds uh, in each number to create a track. So I'm gonna create a little track all right, just to show you the, the stop, the play, the record buttons, has the loop button. So I'm just going to press record, and it's going to come up with the screen. As you can see, I can do the quantizing, okay? So um, I'm going to make a little track. You can set the tempo. I set it to about 83, but I'll change it to 85 so you can see, all right? And then we'll just start a little track, all right? All right, here we go. continue with this track all right I'm, I just added piano in there and I'm gonna just show you pretty much you know how everything is still working all right record got the screen up there here we go sound in there mess around with the bass all right on the track here we go all right everyone here's the track stuff uh it has even its own split features where you can uh just go to a sound and so it'll be split all right i like to use this sound when i'm playing jazz uh There's a live option uh, that is for specifically for the live, and then there's a studio option which is specifically for the studio. So in live, you know, like I said, you can uh, just go through the sounds, check them out, see which ones are nice. They have uh, crazy sounds. I like to use all these different sounds. Um, some of my favorites, you know, guitar, nylon guitar. You know, you can mess around with it. sound uh, I like to use uh, on the roads the pure EP uh, as, as you can see there's tons of them I like to use the the EP has got a nice smooth sound you can check it out all right here we go sound that I like uh, under keyboards. You can check out the different clavies that it has. Uh, so I'm going to choose one just so you can hear the sound a little bit. Alright, here's another 
sound that I really like uh, through the strings. Uh, strings are very important, as you can see through all music, uh, whatever you uh, want to put it. Check this out. This keyboard is loaded with features and sounds, and what you can do is in the live, in the live setting, uh, they have different sets that you can go to. But for this one, I'm going to create my own little sound. It's already created, but uh, you can plug in the sound in each in each channel. As you can see over here, these are the different channels. So I, got, I made up a sound. It's called Sweet. Okay. I have a bell in there, I have strings, and I have a piano. So, uh, first one's piano, and as you can see, you can use the channels. Channel one is the piano, channel two is the strings, channel three is the, uh, the bells. So you come up with a sound like this.